What's going on everyone? Welcome to Madden Subscriber League. Today it is going to be the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Minnesota Vikings. This one's going to be an interesting one folks as these two matches both these teams I think they're pretty no the Vikings are pretty good actually. I think they're I think they're still one of the only undefeated teams I think. And the Chargers, I think they're pretty good. I think. I don't know their exact records, but, you know, it is what it is. East Westrick's number two. Jerome Bettis is number 25. And cornerback, Luke Adams, 22. Rodolfo Castro, 29. He's 29, number 29 to be exact. And the Chargers, Kyle Hess, number 17. Jimmy Beesberger, number 28. And Tom Little, number 49. As this one's going to be an interesting one, folks. As right here, the Vikings got their color rush uniform on. They are confident. But as right now, Kyle Hess, both of these guys, they both were the top MVP contenders last year. But last year, Kyle Hess won it by, a, by an inch, by a centimeter. So now here they go. They're going to run this in with a jet sweep from Tom Little. Going to get taken down, though, by Rodolfo Castro. As right here, here he comes. He's gonna run this in with Jimmy Beesberger. Jimmy Beesberger, though. That ain't Jimmy Beesberger. That's Cam Peel, the former Patriot. Him and Mitch Doolittle run a two running back formation. And, you know, he's on the charges now, and he got a deal with him. But here comes Jimmy Beesberger, actually. Cannot get the first down, though, which is unfortunate. So they were just basically running it the whole time. But that ain't going to be enough for the Chargers. As now, here comes the Vikings real quick. Now, what will the Vikings do? Well, well we'll see. They're going to run this in with Jerome Nabetis. Going to get taken down, though. As right here on the season stats, 247 yards and two TDs. As right here, here he comes. Here comes Jerome Nabetis as he is going to get that first down, though. Good for him. First and ten. As here comes East and West are running in with Jerome Nabetis. As here he comes. East and West are going to pass this in. And that is going to be on the sideline. That was the first pass of the game in general. As it's third and fourth. They're probably going to run this in with Nabetis. They're actually going to pass it. And he's going to dump that off to Nabetis. Nabetis though. He's going to get taken down. God damn. That's fourth and third. As right here, that's exactly at the one. This might be a safety, y'all. As here he comes, the Chargers. This could be a safety, you guys. They're gonna run this in, and here comes Jimmy Beesberger getting taken down. He's not having a chance. Now they're gonna try this again. As right here, second and seven. Kyle has this time he's gonna pass this. This time he's gonna pass the Tom Little gonna go out of bounds. Third and five. That was actually his first pass in general. And they're gonna get that first down. As now they're they're running and passing it. As now seven minutes left in the second. As right here, second and seven. Gonna run this in with Jimmy Beesberger. They're gonna run this in with Cam Peel, actually. He's having a better game than Jimmy Beesberger. You might as well start him. But right here, here he comes. Jimmy Beesberger. Oh, wait, no. Kyle Hess with the pass down the field. That's gonna be ch touchdown Chargers. As the Chargers gonna get that touchdown. Now it's seven to oh. Oh my. What's gonna happen? Oh, they're gonna kick in a field goal. And now what else gonna happen? 
Oh, I think this. I think some dangerous stuff might happen. As Easton West Church. Here he comes, West Church. He's running. He's running. He's running, and he's about to get taken down. As that is gonna be it. For as now it's the two minute warning. Right now it's second and four. As right now, West Church, he's running and he's throwing it away. Wow. Here it comes, third and fourth. West Church has the ball. He's going to pass it down the field. And just like that, that's almost going to be a touchdown right there. As it's first and ten. But here he comes, though. Cough? Not Caulfield. What am I saying? He's in my head right now. But, like, Jerome not bet as though he's going to go out of bounds. That's right here. Second and seven. East and West Church. Going to pass that down the field. As that is going to be, like, a check down. As right here, Easton Westshirt, he's running, he's running, and almost a touchdown. He's at the one yard line. All they have to do is run it in, and they are automatically in the lead. It's so easy, just do it. As here he comes, running it in, and touchdown, not Bettis. Just like that. One of the best running backs in the game, gonna get that touchdown, Viking. The right here, what will happen right before the quarter ends? Is this going to be a touchdown? I think it might be a touchdown. They're going to use a timeout. This could be a touchdown. They're going for a field goal? At the one. At the one. I guess. I guess. But that is going to be 10 to 10. So right here, what else is about to happen? Um, basically, nothing, basically. As it's still tied game. As they're just running in with not Bettis. He's having a good day out here. Right here, West Church. Gonna pass that down the field. As it's second and second and two. As right here, not bad is gonna run this in and he's gonna bring off the tackle. And just like that with a nice first down by not to bet is. Let's go, not bad is. As it's first and ten. He's telling someone to get in formation. And he's going to run this in. And that is going to be good. Second and nine though. As West Church. West, you're going to pass it downfield. And he's going to drop it. No. No. Third and nine. West Shirk. He's going to pass that. And that's going to get picked off. He slips it right out of his hand. Oh my. Who's going to go do it? Who's going to chase him down? And he's running. And that is going to be a pick six. Ain't no way. Touchdown Chargers. 87 yard pick six. Wow. Oh my God. Right here. As what will the Vikings do? Westrick's pissed. He's pissed. If you got pissed off Westrick, it is not going to end well for you. As I draw my controller. Ain't no way. Westrick. Gonna have
and blah. White shirt. White shirt. He's running! He's running! And just like that, with a nice first down. White shirt trying to come back and tie it all up. As West Shirk has the ball. West Shirk, he's running! He's running! And just like that, I'm gonna let it slide. As it's now second and fourth. As right here, East and West are gonna pass it down the field, and that is gonna get caught. First and goal. As now, what is else gonna happen? They're gonna run this in, and just like that, Harden's gone. But Westerk, he needs, he needs a first, he needs a touchdown. That's what he needs. He's gonna need a touchdown. Now Bet is gonna deliver that touchdown. Vikings, as it's now 17 to 17. Well, it's about to be in a minute. Boom, 17 to 17. How Kyle Hess and them respond by doing nothing. Oh my. Oh, they're not doing nothing. Oh, Kyle Hess. He's trying to drive down the field though. Can he do it? With a minute and 13 seconds. A minute and 10. Kyle Hess. Kyle Hess. Gonna dump that off. And he's gonna push it off. Cam Peel. Trying to do every means necessary to win. Kyle Hess gonna pass that down the field. He could not get out of bounds though. 35 seconds. As Kyle Hess. 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 He's gonna throw it away. Wow. As it's third and three. Here comes Hess. The Hess machine. The Hess! As here he goes! But there's a flag on the play. Who's it on? Ain't no way. It's on the offense. Oh, they have to accept the penalty. Kyle Hess needs to now throw it down the field. As Kyle Hess. Gonna throw it down the field to Tom Little! Tom Little! At the 37. Oh my god. They have to call a timeout. They, they're they punting? Ain't no way. They are. They're punting it. That could have been a field goal. But they're just going to punt it away. As we're going to an overtime thriller. Watch this. I bet you will end in a tie. And it will waste my time. Ooh, bars. But Wester, though, he's going to have the ball, and he's going to run it in with not Bettis, as that is going to be a first down. Not Bettis already having a killer game. As it's second in inches, they're going to run this in, as not Bettis going to get the flag on the play, but who's it on? It's on the offense, Tyree Franklin, the backup tight end, what is you doing? As right here. Here they go. Wait a minute. 86. Who is that? Floyd. Why is he at quarterback? They made they did a they, they did an option play right there. They did an interesting one. Third and five. Gonna pass it down. And just like that. Not nah, Bettis. Gonna push it down. Not nah, Bettis. Oh my god, having a career game out here. Not bad is holy shit. As here he comes, as now he's gonna run in with not bad is and just like that. Oh my, second and six. As right here, second and six. West, you're gonna run this in with not bad is again because he's just he, he's a killer machine. Third and three. How are they going to handle this? It looks like they're going to run this in again. At third and three. It looks like they might have to do it. As Jerome not Bettis. Did he get the first? 
fourth and inches. You have to go for it. They're punting it away? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> they punted it again. I hope the Chargers win this. Whoever is the whoever is the coach of the Vikings needs to be fired for punting punting away the game. I hope the Chargers. I hope the Chargers do something. Kyle Hess gonna pass that in, and he's gonna push a man down. He's gonna push it down with Castro. At second and inches is here. As right here, gonna run this in with Cam Peel. Cam Peel gonna cross the man up. Oh my. First and ten. As Kyle Hess has his X Factor. E. Nay. Bold. Can Kyle Hess. Kyle Hess throwing it down the field. He has it. Oh my god, number 19. Oh my. Gonna only be taken down like that from number 40. They are automatically in field goal range. You gotta be kidding me. Whoever number 19 is, he just saved it. As now, they're gonna run this in with Jimmy Beesberger. Jimmy Beesberger. As now, we're at the two minute warning. As here he comes, Kyle Hess at the play action. Kyle Hess throws it down the field, and that's going to be caught for a touchdown. Chargers, touchdown Chargers. That is going to seal the game in an overtime thriller. That is it. Game, set, match. You got to be kidding me. Kyle Hess took his time. He threw the perfect pass, and there he was with a nice overtime thriller. Kyle has 273 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Wester, 205 yards, and a pick six. Rushing, not better, though, with a career game of 120 yards and two touchdowns. Beastburger, though, not a good one. 37 yards, and yeah. But receiving, though, Tom Little, 37 yards, and yeah. And anything else? Not bad, it's 26 yards. Damn. Doffel Castro with eight tackles. Good for him. Good for him. Luke Adams, four tackles. And uh, I think that's, yeah, that's basically it. As we're going to go on to the next game. Alright, we are live. As right now, it is the Houston Texans. Versus the Cincinnati Bengals. This one looks interesting. So we're going to do it. As right here. Here are the numbers. Harry Potter is number two. And in the start of the turn of events. Mahansel or Galicia is not on the team anymore. But however. Don't count them out. Just yeah, They do got cornerback Chris Paul at number 22. And they got this brand new stud wide receiver. He's six foot seven. Crangies McBasketball. As right now, here's the Texans. Go to fight Kevin's number 12. And guess what? Sequel Uncut is out for the entire season. Tore his ACL. As now, his running back, Malik Childress, is now here. Damn. And anything else? Oh, yeah. He also got the legend, Jared the G, at number 96. Let's go. So right here, this is going to be an interesting one. Bengals versus Texans. This is one of the matchups last year. As the Bengals were leading the division. They were, they were the bye seed. And the Texans came in there and embarrassed them. Because they embarrassed them today. Harry Potter's not having that hot of a season like last year. He's not doing so great. But Kevo, he's trying to make sure he wins the MVP. You know what I mean? But without a sequel uncut, it's going to be kind of hard. But right here, we're going to see how things go. Especially with Chris Paul as the cornerback, it's going to be kind of tough. Here comes Kev. Going to pass. Alright, as now, how will Kev favor in part of this? Well, we're going to find out right here, right now. Here comes Kev. 
Kev gonna pass it downfield. Number 19 gonna catch it, and he's gonna outrun number 92. Here he comes, but Chris Paul, he's gonna take him out. God damn, what an amazing pass. Oh my god. It can't get any better than that. Rankin with a 63 yard reception. Look, Chris Paul, he's going to be the one to say, hell nah, as right now, it is going to be taken down right here. Second and goal. As now, here he comes. Here he comes. The running back. That's not a name sequel. Uncut is coming right here. As it's third and goal. You do not want to come all the way over here just to get a field goal. As now, here he comes, and it's going to be taken down. As now, that is going to be a field goal. And boom, field goal secured. Now, Bengals time. I am ecstatic to see how Harry Potter does. He's uh, He was one of the most interesting QBs to watch, and I can't wait to see how it's done. And without the Hunslor Galicia, it's going to be interesting as 84 is going to take it down. The field. That is going to be caught by Allen. I want to see Cranji's basketball, man. He's an interesting one. He looks like a tight end, but he plays like a wide receiver. So that is interesting. Here comes 84. As he's going to get taken down right off the bat by 54. As it's second, as it's second and 11. As right now, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, gonna get taken down by the G. The G says, get out of here, Potter. Go back to, go back to Hogwarts. You don't belong here. But right now, it's third and 24. Can he at least pass it down deep? Or are they gonna run it? They're gonna pass it. As he's gonna pass it short. Oh, and he's gonna cross a man up. But that is gonna be a four. Down. As now they're gonna punt it. What will they do? Nothing. As anything else. Oh, did they get the first down? Third and inches. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. As now, with 27 seconds, 25 seconds on the clock. Harry Potter, gonna do a run play. He's gonna do a jet sweep. And he's gonna get taken down by oh now it's crazy McBasketball. As that was the first time we saw him play at all, and now here he comes, and that is gonna be the end of the of the first. And now here's the second quarter. As here he comes, Harry Potter chucking it down the field, and that's gonna get caught by 84, just like that. First and ten. And that's his 5,000th receiving yard this season. As right here, here he comes. Cranji is with basketball. Oh, that's not Cranji with basketball. That's Whitington. As it's second and seven. I notice that Zach Taylor is still the head coach. As here he comes. Gonna run this in with Whitington again. Seems like they love running it in with him ever since they got rid of Mahunt's board. As it's third and inches. As right now, I'm going to run this in with Whitington. Going to get taken down. Oh, that was justice this time. As it's now first and goal. And right here, here comes the Potter man himself. The whistling world of Harry Potter is going to pass it. And that's going to be a flag on the play. And Sebastian Garay with the left tackle. I would realize that the Elgato was on, but it was set very low, so now you can hear the game audio. As it's not awkward. But they're gonna run this in again with Whitington. Do they not trust Potter anymore? I think they don't trust Potter anymore, man. We saw what Potter can do. He won't come back player of the year. He even made the Pro Bowl. Give him a chance. Nope, they said, hell nah, here's Whitington again. 
the six rush already. Third and goal. This time they are gonna give him a chance to see how he fares. As right now, here comes the Cincinnati Bengals. Gonna pass it downfield, and that's gonna get caught. But the unfortunate thing is, he was out of bounds. No! That was a good pass too. So they're forced to kick it in. And that is going to be good. As it's three. To three. As now, here comes the Texans. I are not going to do anything. But Harry Potter going to get picked off by Alonzo Royal. Oh boy. You know the song, They Could Be Royals? Well, guess what? Royal. We could be royals like the song, but guess what? He said, I'm going to be royal right here as he is going to get the touchdown Texans. Number 13, going to get that in. His first receiving touchdown of the game. As it's now going to be 10 to 3. As Harry Potter going to try and he was chucking it down, but then unfortunately nothing happened. But don't worry, it's the start of a new quarter and he still can't do anything. And that's going to get picked off. By Willie Colvin. Oh my god, Willie Colvin. He is playing good. As Harry Potter, they will have a chance to tie the game. As here comes Harry Potter. Harry Potter getting taken down by Bailey with his second sack of the game. As it's now second and 28. As Harry Potter gonna pass it and he almost picked it off 57 what is he doing at least he swatted it down third and 28 third and 28 Harry Potter forced to throw it away he did that interception just to not get anything are you serious and now the Texans gonna punt it away Harry Potter He's gonna get sacked by the G. No way. The Texans. Oh, they're gonna get a field goal. 13 to 3. Oh my. Oh my. Anything could happen. But Harry Potter says, you know what's gonna happen? I'm about to come back. That's what's gonna happen. There's 20 seconds left. As here he comes, Harry Potter. And that's gonna be a false start. Damn it. What is y'all doing? That is not the way to go. It's now first and 15. As right now, here he comes. Whitington gonna get taken down. If you keep running with him, they're gonna easily take him down. That's how that works. But you know what's gonna work? It's the fourth quarter now. It's the fourth quarter. You don't know what might happen. As Harry Potter, can he make a comeback? Gonna overthrow it! Are you serious, man? Bailey is gonna be out, though. After having a nice game today, he's gonna be out for the rest. But Harry Potter, though, he's gonna throw it out, and that's gonna get caught by 84, saving it all. As now it's first and 10. Now, here they come, though. Harry Potter gonna run this in with Whitington gonna get taken down easily I'm on you know you got Harry Potter you got the pro bowl of Harry Potter as here he comes Harry Potter gonna run this in again and this time gonna get taken down Whitington again as now they just need a first down at least can they get a field goal not a field goal, but can they get a touchdown? Harry Potter, you're gonna overthrow it, are you serious? They are forced to take a field goal. Ain't no way, they have to. That is gonna be good, but it's 13 and six. As right here, they need to stop the Texans. They need to stop them. They're gonna stop him. Just like that, the Bengals now have a chance. As 
Harry Potter. Gonna pass it downfield. And now it is gonna be second and one. Harry Potter, he just needs he needs a touchdown to tie the game. A touchdown plus a PAT to tie it up. But Harry Potter passing it to 80. There he goes. Gonna get taken down. Damn. Prangies make a basketball. He is trying to save it. As right, so here he comes. Here he comes. Harry Potter. Gonna throw it. No. As Harry Potter. And he couldn't throw it away. That's a sack by Johnson. Are you serious? Harry Potter. What else is going to happen to Potter? He needs a first down to save it all. He can't. That's a sack. Long gonna sack him. Fourth and 24. Well, you know what they always say. The Bengals, they always struggle with the line And it seems like Harry Potter, it seems like they always struggle to sack. But the but at, but in fourth and fourth and twenty four the game's on the line. Harry Potter has to chuck it deep at the two minute warning. Harry Potter gonna chuck it deep and that's gonna be Kai. Oh my God, Cringy's big basketball. His six foot seven head ass it should be in the NBA, but he just saved the game as Harry Potter gonna pass it into twenty six. Oh my God, Harry Potter is he clutch? They're going to go play action. And that's picked off. Ain't no way. That's going to be picked off. Parks with the interception to seal the game. Oh my God, Harry Potter. He almost saved it. But at the same time, he's the reason why they threw it away. As the Bengals are still winless. But the, but the Texans are 3 and 2. Wow! What a game! Oh my god. As now Harry Potter's 254 yards and two interceptions. Kev 195 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Rushing. <laughs> Actually, no one. Receiving though, Cranjic with basketball, 83 yards. Oh my god, but defense though, but defense with the Bengals with Chris Paul with three tackles and Texans with the G at 2.5. My god, but that's gonna be all for this week because we're gonna go to next week to check things out. All right, and now here we are. And now the Green Bay Packers beat the Atlanta Falcons. By the way, the week five results. So the Packers beat the Falcons. Chicago beats Carolina. We already know this one went. Indianapolis beats Baltimore. New England loses to Buffalo. Denver is going to beat Kansas City. Damn. That means the Broncos are still. Wait. Are they still undefeated? No. The Broncos, they're still good. The Dolphins beat the Raiders. The Titans lose to the Crusaders. Oh my god. The Crusaders really dropped 41 points on the Titans. Seattle, they, they won against Los Angeles. Seattle has swept LA. Oh my. Cleveland beats Arizona. Pittsburgh beats San Francisco. Tampa finally gets their first win. We already know how this one went. And the Giants lose to the football team. That's unique. I'll say that. That's pretty unique. But the Cowboys are still the only team that's undefeated. How about the Cowboys? And the Bengals are the still only team that is still yet to get a dub. Oh my word. So let's check. Ravens still dominant. Browns need catching up. Bengals. Oh shit, they need a lot of refocusing. I don't know what happened to them. But the Steelers and the Ravens, they might have a chance to clinch it. Bro, don't count out the Browns though. They got Patrick Mahomes and Daniel Weiss. The Colts. Damn, Juan Sanchez. He's just too dominant. The Texans though, they're looking to catch up. The Jaguars, they're still in the competition. The Titans, they need some refocusing. AFC East. 
the Dolphins. Oh my, they're first place, but this is a tight division as everyone is looking to re reclaim it. FC West, the Broncos are in the lead. Surprisingly, what happened? The Chargers are, be are behind though. The right, they're, they're, they're behind though, but like, you know, they're still pretty tough. I think they might have a chance to clinch it. The Raiders, though, I don't know what happened. The Chiefs, they got Pat Marjol, that's all I can say. The NFC North, the Bears are in the lead, but the Packers are also there, and the Vikings and the Lions, this is still a tough division right here. NFC South, the Falcons in the lead, but the same, but this is not a tough division. Anyone can take it. The Bucks, if they play their cards right, if they continue to take Ws, if they, if they can get that W from last week and continue to build on it, they might may take the division yet again and make the playoffs for the fifth fucking year in a row. NFC East, the Cowboys. I was about to say, I thought they were going to automatically clinch it, but the football team is trying to make a case. The Giants, you know, they're also there. The Eagles, I think it's the refocusing, if you know what I mean. NFC West, the Seahawks are in the lead, but the Niners, Rams, and Cardinals are still there. Oh man, this is very tough. We're almost at the trade deadline, and I can tell you this, there's probably going to be some trades to keep things alive. But that's really going to be all for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Come on, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.